Hey there folks, this is DMC Jedi Man Gaming, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We're jumping back on into this one, uh, hope you've been enjoying the series. Don't forget, if you like my content, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to stay notified when I upload. Check out my main channel sometime if you like, uh, trailer reactions, taste tests, unboxings, and reviews. And feel free to follow DMC Jedi Man's Den on social media. I'm currently on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. So with that out of the way, let's get back on into this. I believe we are uh, at the part after the Cell games now. Alright, get the recording started. Starting the recording right now. The recording has been started. Hopefully the software uh, works correctly. After a long and hard-fought battle that cost him his father's life, Gohan finally vanquishes Cell. Trunks vows to bring peace back to his time and returns to the future. Yeah, I believe our first step will be to gather the Dragon Balls. Then we've got some side stories to do. I'm looking for this episode to be an hour to an hour and a half, because I don't want to get into the Boo Saga until I get the Vegito shirt, if I can help it. Like, I'll have the Vegito shirt by the time Vegito actually shows up. Hold on, there we go. Now you can actually see Vegito behind me, too. Alright, Dragon Balls have been restored. Are there any in this area? Not that I can see. So we'll go to West City first, because I see a Dragon Ball there. We'll get the Dragon Balls, we'll summon Shenron, and we'll check how many D-Metals we have, because I'd love to do some training with Gohan, because I think there's a thing or two I can do with him. Then we'll start getting all the side stories we can done before continuing on the main story. All right, come on. Uma's house really stands out. It's huge. Okay, there's a dragon ball over there. Looks like just the one. I think I may as well grab that one going through. Alright, there we go. Dragon Ball Dot. Okay. There's one at least one in the Papaya Town area, so we'll go there next. Yeah, I want to be around level 100 before I get to the uh, DLC stuff, because Fighting Beerus is going to be difficult, to say the least. Ah! 
Okay, so it looks like there's one Dragon Ball in this area. Is over there. I should probably go talk to Roshi at some point too, see if I've gotten any more of the turtle uh, hermit stuff done. This is where my dad and the others fought a long time ago. I think I can take this guy. What the? Yeah, this ought to be helpful. Oh, there's another D metal. Oh, this is a keeper. Okay. Yep. Four star dragon. Okay. Go to the Kame House area. Like I said, it'll be good to talk to Master Roshi and see if we've gotten any more of the Turtle School challenges done. Also, while we're over there, we'll check the uh, training ground and see what we have for Gohan. <sighs> yeah, I'm so proud of how the previous episode turned out. I added in the uh, the Team Four Star Day of Fate cover. Okay, where is the truck? Oh, there's a truck. Oh, come on. So before I go to that, I wonder how Master Roshi is doing. Well, you're about to find out. Very well. So we got seven D medals. Oh, and we got an achievement: Turtle School Master. Complete twenty Turtle School training challenges and report to Master Roshi. Eleven D medals. Later. Okay, do I have to talk to him for each one of these? Very well. Hey, this meat looks pretty good. Holy! Okay, Turtle School Legend, complete fifty challenges. Yeah. Later. Well, I should have plenty of D medals for training for a little bit. Very well. Later. I'm just going to keep talking to him till he stops giving me stuff. Very well. Later. Very well. Later. Very well. Later. Very well. Later. Okay. Very well. Looks like we're getting towards the end of Later. what we're getting. Oh. Well. Very well. Later. 
Huh? Okay, so that is everything that I could get from him for the moment. Okay, super rapid fire key wave. Looks like the only thing we can learn right now. We have 65 D medals at the moment. And we're, we need to be rec. Okay, we're five levels ahead, so we're going to attempt this. Just got one of the characters down. Come on, move, move, move. With only one of them, it should be uh, pretty easy to finish him off now. There we go. That's the challenge taken care of. So let's check on his uh, his skill tree. All right, let's check here. Okay. Very well. And I got a few Later. more items. Huh? Okay, now. I think I can take this guy. I think I can take this guy. Ship. All right, I found a rare fish and a dragon ball. All right, so next, Goku's house area. Almost got all the Dragon Balls. I believe who we're bringing back this time will be the Cell Juniors. <coughs> oh, 
other than that, we'll probably wish for Zenny or rare items. Actually, probably rare items. I think that's a smarter idea. Don't ask me how I managed to do that. So there's three Dragon Balls still somewhere. Oh. Kohaido lands. Okay, so I see where all the Dragon Balls will be now. Go to Luka Village next, get that one. I wonder if we'll have to do the other world tournament with Goku versus Pycon. Alright, where is the Dragon Ball here? Oh, right there. Now, where is that in relation to where I am? Uh, yeah, I smashed him. <laughs> Got the Dragon Ball. Alright. Now we'll go up to the... <laughs> Arbit area, get that one. And I think that other area is the Cell Games area? Maybe it's... I thought it was called Cell Games area, but now that Cell Games is over, maybe it has a different name. I'll know when I get there if it's that same area or not. Wonder if the, re the arena will stay there. That'd, that'd be interesting. Actually, it's probably good that we're doing that area last, because in bringing back the Cell Juniors, I imagine they would probably get resurrected at the Cell Games Arena. Ah! 
Okay. Well, we got that guy uh, figured out. Okay. So this will be the final Dragon Ball we need. Once we have this, then we can summon Shenron. Then I'll start in on some of the, uh, the sub-stories. Try and get as many of them done in the time limit I've got for myself today. Especially since I'm actually recording this a little late at night. But I wanted to get this recording done today. Yep, there's the Cell Games Arena, so I was right. That is, uh, precisely... I think I can take this guy. <sighs> Given Cell's extraordinary power... It's highly unlikely that Mr. Satan was the one who defeated him. <laughs> oh, please don't tell any of his fans I said that. I can only imagine how irate they'd be with me. If only she knew that we were the one that beat him. Hello there. I ventured all the way out here to find out exactly what went, went down during the Cell Kings. Mm -hmm. The fate of the Earth itself was on the line in the battle that took place here. Really gives you pause. What comes to mind for you when you look at this place? Thank you. Thanks for talking to me like this. Here, you've earned this. An ultra healing. I think I'm going to stick around a bit longer and see what else I can glean. If only he knew that it was actually, uh, us that, that did it. Ah, so this is where the arena was. the Dragon Balls. So let's summon Shenron. First wish, I want to fight the Cell Jr. Zen. Second wish, I want rare items. Continent Center area. In terms of the other ones, I've got Wild State, Juicy Grilled Fish, Okay. <laughs> yep, I was right. Little nightmares. Okay, so I have to come back here with Vegeta. Oh well. Okay, well. So we know we'll have to come back there with Vegeta. Let's go here now and see uh, what this sub-story is going to be. Dragon Ball 
the must respawn a lot quicker now. The nutty scientist. Take this guy. I think I can take this guy. I think I can take this guy. Seems lost and fun. Hello? Hi, Balma. Oh, hello, Gohan. Um... What are you doing here? <sighs> well, you see, my dad's completely absorbed in his work. Actually, if you've got some time, I could really use your help. Can you spare a few moments? The Nutty Scientist. Hi! Yeah, if you're okay with me helping you out. Thanks! Thanks, that's a big help. Um... So, what do you need help with? <sighs> well, it's my dad. Hmm. hmm. This place has been exhausted of resources. I could try that other place, but how long would it take? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> See, he's been like that for a while now. Once he dives headfirst into something, it takes forever for him to come back up. He came all the way out here on his own. I struggled to chase after him, but I'm tired of dealing with this, so I was hoping you could lend a hand. I'd love to help, but I'm not sure what I can do for a researcher like him. <laughs> Relax, you don't need to do anything complicated. I just need you to collect some materials for him. Oh, okay, that I can do. Hey! Hey, Dad! Hmm. Hey, Dad! Hmm? Hmm? What is it? Have you given me another grandchild? Hey, now! What? What do you think I am, a baby factory? I found someone to give you a hand. Here, tell him what you need. Well, now. Hmm. Let's see. Hard dragolite, large dorgolite. And bulky dogma light. That should be everything I need at the moment. Um. Uh, um. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. What's with all the confusing names, right? And all of it can be found in the same place, too. <clears throat> you see, every time I try to order this, it keeps getting delivered to the wrong address. I thought it would be faster to just come get the stuff myself, but there's nothing left here. <sighs> there's another location that should have what I need, but it's a little too far away from me. Oh, okay. I can head out there for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll mark the location on your map. Good luck out there. There's a miner near the location I just gave you that knows a lot about minerals. You should speak with him. Right. Got it. East Ravine area. All right, East Ravine area is what I need. Oh. Okay.
Okay, well, need to go. I think I can take this guy. That looks like a sturdy bridge. Now, am I going the right way? I bet right it would be way? really cool to go under that. I think I can take this guy. Yes. Yes, I am. What a huge waterfall! You're this looking for something in particular? Let's see. You'll find hard stones over yonder. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Wow! This apple looks delicious! Thing looks super tasty. What the? Why are none of these saying they're right? How many more are left? Okay, well, I at least found one that was real. Found a D metal. up with this shit?
there's some more uh, things to check. Just one left. Okay, so now I just need the large. Let's see. Okay, where is this shit? Wait, hold on. Okay, there's a few uh, down here. I Got it! Whew! A little difficult to find. Hi. I got what you needed. Thank you! Oh! I appreciate it. Well, look at that. This is every single thing I need. Great work. You know, Bikini, your mother, used to help with this kind of thing. She would always bring me the wrong things, though. She once brought me dynamite when I asked for diamonds. Can you believe that? <sighs> yeah, Mom probably would probably do the same this time. Actually, it's pretty much guaranteed. That's your mother for you. But it was her, let's say, unorthodox way of thinking that forced me to think outside of the box. Yep. That, in turn, freed my mind up and allowed me to complete most, if not all, of my inventions. So I guess you could say her mistakes were actually quite helpful. What? Wow, really? Uh. Wait, so I shouldn't have brought you all the right things then? Uh, hold on, I'll go find something you didn't ask for. Wh Wait. Hold it right there. You don't need to do that. Huh? <laughs> You're fine. Bringing the right stuff was the normal thing to do. Thanks. Anyway, thanks for your help. Hi. You're welcome. Hey. My dad should be fine now. Yep. Yes, this is everything I need. Just one thing left. What? And what would that be? Ho <laughs> ho. I need to figure out what to listen to while I work. <sighs> You can figure that one out on your own. <laughs> Alright. So we got some more D medals. Everything okay. turned out okay. Alright, so next we'll go to Goku's house area and get that side story done. I'm also going to check out that training machine at Capsule Core because I want to see if I can 
possibly utilize that. So I think before I couldn't do much because I didn't have enough zenny, or maybe it was something else I didn't have enough of, so I just want to check on that. Also, I'm curious if there is something with the, uh, Open Z Encyclopedia, that's what I wanted to do. Well, I got 55 more team medals and a bunch of cards! Okay! Unfortunately, this was... Not what I was looking for. I was checking to see if there was a, uh, a thing there for the, uh, what do you call them? Anyway, frequently attacked villager. Take them down first, then. Cyberman. Oh, it's her. Ah! Please save me. These weirdos came out of nowhere. Romantic apron. Frequently attacked villager. Right. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. said he was not smart enough to attack while well, I couldn't do anything, and that will be his downfall. Um. You're safe now. <sighs> Thank you so much. I thought I was a goner. Hmm? Wait, who are you? Uh... Huh? Uh, oh, it's me, Gohan. I guess you didn't recognize me with my hair like this. <laughs> oh, you're right, it is you. Wow, you've definitely got a different air about you. <laughs> yeah, a lot's happened. Um... Wow, you really are attacked a lot. <sighs> this is terrible. Do you think it's my food again? Does it really smell that good? Huh? No, you know what? They're the ones that have got something wrong with them. <laughs> they must think that you're a walking source of free delicious food. Come on! You don't really... You don't think that's what they think, do you? That'd be awful! Uh... 
Just try to be extra cautious when you're carrying food. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? All I want to do is cook delicious dishes. I'll get started. So, um, I'm going to leave now. Be careful, okay? <laughs> hey, now. Wait, don't go just yet. I still need to thank you for saving my life. <laughs> Please, take this. All right. What? What? Are you sure? Yeah. Absolutely. I'd feel terrible if I gave you any less than that. Thank you. Th thank you so much. Goodbye. No, thank you. If I'm attacked again, I'm counting on you to save me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she does get attacked again. Alright, that's that one done. I bet this tastes really good. Everything turned out okay. All right, so next we'll go here because we've got a story there. I should have Chi-Chi cook up a bunch of uh, home-cooked meals if I have materials for them. Ah! Or full course meals, I should say. But first... Wait. Oh! What? Okay, so I need Vegeta for that one, too. Okay, so of the two side stories I currently have, I need Vegeta for both of them. So let's go to Capsule Core, check out that machine, then we'll go to Kami's Lookout and start the next uh, thing. be in over here. I see you hiding. Another D metal. So, are you ready to begin your training? Right, modify. That's what I need to do. <laughs> oh man, I don't have enough Zenny to modify it. Okay, well, I guess we're, uh, we're not going to bother with that then for now. We'll go to Corn Tower, get our Sensu, then we're going to go to Kami's Lookout. At Kami's, we'll stop the recording and start up another one. here when he was a kid, huh? Alright. Hopefully we'll get to switch to Vegeta and get those uh, remaining things done. I'm actually surprised the Cell Juniors wanted to fight Vegeta. I would have sworn they would have wanted a piece of Gohan since Gohan's the one that killed them. Ah, 
Ah! That's one thing I was wondering about. Goku and Tien once again face off in the World Tournament. Goku admits he's surprised by Tien's growth, then removes his shoes and some of his clothes. Tien is shocked to find out that the clothing Goku removed weighs more for 220 pounds in total. Realizing that Goku has been fighting with weighted clothing this whole time, Tien laughs with delight, excited about the promising fight ahead. Okay, so let's uh, stop the recording, we'll start up another one. Alright, starting the second recording right now. Okay, second recording has been started, let's talk to Mr. Piccolo. Um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now, so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So, what should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself, too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. Alright, let's go uh, talk to Jeets. Just give him one more quick scan. Hold on. Okay, it's gonna say there's nothing there, is there? Yeah, it's like I know I could go wish for you know, gather the dragon balls and wish for Zenny. But I don't wanna do that quite yet. I wonder what villains would be brought back from the Boo Saga once they're taken care of. Like, maybe Deborah? Yakon? Pui Pui? Alright, better find Vegeta so I can ask for his help. If I had to guess, I'd say he's either in here or in that outside room. Not in here, so 
guessing the outside area. Hello, uh, D metal. D metal. Oh, dog. What do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger so something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd. You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat! Huh? B but I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you. All right. Let's kick Vegeta's ass. I'm going to see if you have what it takes to fill in for Kakarot. Uh, okay. I can't believe it! Don't underestimate me! I need to try and avoid getting hit too much. Cause... What gives? He's got more power than this! Done yet? Can't believe it! And if this scares you, then you're nothing. Shit. Don't you dare hold anything back. Release the power you use to blow Cell to pieces. Don't underestimate me! Oh, he was gracious and didn't attack. Makes me sick how much he reminds me of him. Vegeta? Nothing. We're done here. Okay, and I got free heal. Good. You were far more powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I... I need to do some serious soul searching. I... I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not going to be happy about it, though. Greetings. Hello, Johan. Huh? That voice. Dende, is that you? What's going on? <laughs> well, I've actually got a favor to ask you. Could you come to the lookout when you're free? The lookout? Sure thing. I'll be right there. Thank you so much. I'll be waiting. All right, I head towards Kami's lookout. Can I actually, uh, nope, can't change my party yet. <sighs> ah. 
fucking let's see if there's oh there's a lot of energy in this thing just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing you know one of those uh, what do you call them memories Hey, it's Dende! Greetings! Oh, Gohan! So, you said you need a favor? Yes! Right, I'm thinking about increasing Shenron's power. I increasing Shenron's power? Hmm, let's we see. We could have another villain as powerful as Cell on our hands at any moment. I want to be prepared. But in order to increase Shenron's power, I need some things. I was hoping you could help me find them. What do you think? Having a more powerful Shenron could really help us out. So will you help me? Of course. I'll do whatever I can. So what exactly do you need? Thank you so much. I knew I could count on you, Gohan. Thanks a bunch. Right, so here are the materials I need. A rainbow crystal. And that should be everything I need. Right. Okay, you can count on me. Excuse me. One second, please. Rainbow crystals are extremely rare. Funny it won't be easy. In fact, I can't even tell you where to begin. What? Wow, I thought you knew everything. <sighs> I've scoured the entire planet from up here, but I still can't find it. Mm. Hmm, this will be a toughie. Hey. Fortune teller Baba might know where to find it. Huh? Really? Yes. Yeah, her readings are spot on every time. Great idea, Mr. Popo. Wow, Earth sure has quite a few impressive individuals. It looks like she's in West City. Wow, in the city, huh? That's rare. Guess I'll head over there then. Hey. Of course, her services come with a price. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Here. You got a bag of gold dust. What? Gee, thanks. Are you sure? Sure. Matters of the guardianship dwarf matters of money. Besides, it's not like we use money up here anyway. Right. Oh, good point. Okay, Dende, I'll be back in a yes. flash. Good luck, Gohan. Okay, so... Until he gave us that bag, I was thinking maybe we'd have to fight her, uh, her champions. Which would be neat. You know, having to fight, you know, Grandpa Gohan with, uh, with Goku's Gohan? That'd be an interesting matchup. I actually would love to see that. Pardon me? Alright. Come on. Load in. Oh. Um. How is that sound? <laughs> Say no more. Rainbow crystals, yes? What? Whoa, how'd you know that? Oh, oh, oh. I'm a fortune teller. It's literally what I do all day. Uh, oh, yeah. You! Ahem. Huh? My fee, please. In your pocket. Oh, that's right. Hi! Here you go. Very well. Let us begin, then. Hmm. I see a ship. Sunken, south of Kame House. What? A sunken ship? So the oars in the ocean? Indeed. Quite so. Consigned to briny oblivion, the vessel once stopped the crystals you seek. Find the ship, and its cargo you so covet will be spilling out of its ancient frame. Okay, south of Kame House. Do try not to drown. Right. Gotcha. Better make this fast. All right, so we'll head to Kame House. We'll talk to Roshi while I'm there too, because I'm pretty sure we finished a few more things in his uh, turtle school.
Very well. Later! Huh? Okay, so... Ship that large sink. Ah! Don't see this kind of fish every day. This thing's filled with power. Okay. Found the rainbow crystal. Yeah. All right. Back to Tommy's lookout. Hopefully he doesn't need more of them. Dende, I'm back. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gohan. This will do wonderfully. So, what is it you're trying to do exactly? 
Earth's Dragon Balls aren't operating at their full potential. This will even the gap between them and their Namekian counterparts. Hold on, please. So we get, will we get three wishes now? And there, all done. What? Already? Try using the Dragon Balls now. You should be able to make some better wishes right. now. Roger that. You're something else, Dende. <laughs> Thanks. Oh! Shenron Soul Emblem! Okay! He goes in the symbol area. Hey! Ah, Dendi's nice! Got the guardian job down pat. He's definitely someone I could stand to learn from. Okay, so first, let's go into the community board and set that uh, new soul emblem. Okay. Nice! I can switch to Vegeta! Good! Good, 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 good! Going to put Krillin in. And we'll put Chouts in. Okay, now we can do the other two sub-stories. We're going to collect the Dragon Balls as well. Because I'm now curious about, uh, about something. But first, let's go and see what we can add for Vegeta. We have a couple things we can do for training for Vegeta. It's been a long time since we've done anything for Chiaotzu. There's a side story here, but let's get Queen's side story done first. Oh, there's also a side story here at the lookout. Or at least I thought there was. Okay, well, whatever. It's nice finally having access to Vegeta. Also, we'll go after any Dragon Balls in these areas that we're going to first, and then we'll gather the rest of them. Hey! 
Hey! Yeah, Vegeta? What the hell's going on? Where am I? <laughs> no dirty fireworks for me. What? You killed me, Vegeta. <laughs> I don't give a crap about that. You're going to serve as my training dummy. Yeah. Y you're kidding, right? Do you honestly think I'm just gonna forgive you for killing me? Let me think. If you're looking to get killed again, that can be arranged. No. No. I know how tough you are. I'm not gonna take you on. I mean, think about it. I got blown away in one fell swoop, right? <laughs> you mean when you lit up the Namekian sky like dirty fireworks? Yeah. D dirty fireworks? Well, now. You have a problem with that description? N no way. I, I don't want to die like that again. <laughs> hmm. What? Wh what's that? What? Hmm? <laughs> ha! Dumbass! Now! Big mistake, Quee. But let me finish one guy at a time. I will destroy the rest of you anyway. Yeah, I know I'm playing a little sloppy, but it's Queen! If I die here, then I deserve to die! A for it. Level up though, so free heal. Crowling and Chaps who got some levels up too. Up to your pathetic old tricks again, eh? Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I was just messing with you. <laughs> hm, you still haven't learned your lesson, even after dying. You know, Vegeta. With that kind of power, you could actually beat Frieza. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Frieza already got what was coming to him. And it was we Saiyans that made that happen. Who are? Uh, are you serious? Let me think. So, Kui, you still have the guts to take me on? Yeah. N no way. 
if, if there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. Uh, I'll lend you a hand any time. <laughs> hmm. Well, I could use a new punching bag. What? What? There we go. That's Queen's story. And that's the, uh... The Kui Soul Emblem. Looks like he could go in the Strongman one, or in the Mustache one. Ugh! He really is a hopeless piece of garbage! So let's set that. We'll see which one we need it in. Okay, we have quite a bit in the training one. Adult community. Item selling price 10%. You know what? Yeah. Okay, he needs to be level 30. Okay, I can add something to Chiaotzu, though. Okay, now let's do the other side story, the Cell Juniors. That one's actually probably going to be a little, uh... Oh, wait, where were we? Oh yeah, we're in there, and there's no Dragon Balls there, weirdly enough. So we'll do this side story, then we'll gather the Dragon Balls, and then that'll probably be it for today's episode, because I do want to be able to, to have stuff for next time before we get to Boo Saga. Plus, I don't want this episode to go that much farther anyway. It's 11.26 as of right now when I'm recording this at night, so... I want to be able to get to bed at a semi-reasonable hour, too. But I've got enough time and energy to get this side story done. Get the Dragon Balls located. Easy. You'd better give it your all. Okay. <laughs> it feels great to win. Hey, you little freaks! <laughs> I owe you for the humiliation you caused me before. Little nightmares. <laughs> I owe you for humiliating me. I want a rematch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sound 
sorry. Fun! One of them's about to be done. And right back in it. Come on, freak. Thanks, Krillin. Oh good, we finally got him in the hood. And there we go. Number A. Well, Krillin and Chiaotzu leveled up. <laughs> I guess I'm too tough for you now. We're next. Oh no! Oh goody! Well, this uh now sucks. I'm gonna lose this one. Like, why couldn't I have gotten a level up from, uh, from... Where the... What the... It's like, for a moment there, he was locked into the fucking ground. That was weird. Yeah. 
shit! Fuck! You fucking bastards! Well, I'm getting pounded now. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Because I don't have any fucking healing items set. That's one down. Two down. Fuck, not this again. And I'll be very pissed if I lose because this stupid idiot went into the ground. Shit, shit, shit. Good, got him. That's only gonna be an A. Please tell me I level up Vegeta this time. Thank God. So if we have to fight any more, at least I'm full health again. Woo, that was close. Let me think. You want some too? <laughs> <laughs> that ought to put you in your place. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. I'm actually in a good mood, so I'll let you live. <laughs> Running away, eh? Hmm? <laughs> Sell Junior Day Vegeta an item. Super healing. Well, now. What's this? A tribute? <laughs> <laughs> I might be able. I might actually be able to make some use of these little freaks. Fine. Fine. You better not let me down. <laughs> Oh, that was tough. And I got their soul emblems. Okay, it looks like they go in the strongman category. Whew. This should sell for quite a bit. <laughs> this proves that I've gotten stronger since the fight with Cell. And I'm going to keep getting stronger. Okay, so first, let's get our soul emblem set. Okay, now Dragon Ball hunting. Four star. All right, there's a Dragon Ball up here. We'll go there next. Oh, I definitely need to set some healing items, though, because we almost died. Oh, 
of course, part of it's also the team I had. Like, if I had Gohan and Piccolo with me, that would have probably been different. But I wanted to start leveling up some of the lower level characters. Also, I wanted Vegeta, because, you know, getting these side quests done that Vegeta had is something I wanted. That's the Dragon Ball from there. Orange City. I will get Zenny this time. That way maybe I can upgrade the training machine again. in. Also, how much longer does this recording have? Okay, we got 14 more minutes still, so we should have enough time. I may have to start one last short recording, because I think this episode's gonna go a bit longer than I actually wanted. Like, we're already past an hour and a half. I'm estimating we're probably gonna be more like two hours in. See a red fruit down there. Well now, this might be good. <laughs> This'll do. This one might provide a challenge. <laughs> This'll do. There's the dragon ball. I was gonna say, I know I saw something over here. Ooh, oh, that's just a what is this power? I do believe that's a golden version of something, so I may as well catch it. Finally, some good meat. Golden venison. I was about to say, wait a minute, where are we? But Orange City is also connected to the Goku's house area. So I was going to say, I see a mission there. We're going to get the Dragon Balls gathered, summon Shenron, we'll upgrade the training area with the Zenny we get, as long as we don't have other people to resurrect. I am curious, so with better wishes, does that mean we're going to get to resurrect other folks, or does that mean that we're going to get three wishes, or is that just going to mean we get better, like, more of what we want? More rare items, more Zenny. There's the Dragon Ball. And that would be... where? There we go. <laughs> Easy prey. 
Once I get someone to level 60 this one or 70, <laughs> then I probably will try and take on that villainous enemy again. Town is the next one. I know we gotta go to West City. We'll check the other areas first, though, because I want to do the West City one last, since that way we can go get our uh, training thing upgraded. I do want to check. There's a side story, it looks like, near Goku's house, and there's a side story possibly at Kami's Lookout. I at least want to see what they are. Because if I do, uh, I want to at least know who I might need to be to get them done. I don't think I'm going to do any other side stories today. I think I'm going to save those for next time. But first, let's get this Dragon Ball. I find this Dragon Ball! I take this Dragon Ball! Let's see what else I can find. If I'd gotten here first, the androids would be nothing but scrap by now. This fish looks edible. Okay, so there's one at the Sacred Land of Corin. We'll go get that one next. And that's the end of the soda, so I'm definitely going to have to wrap this up because I got no other drink here and I don't want to, you know, walk away to get something. Okay, two Dragon Balls left. No, don't go that high up. One Dragon Ball left. One star. Get this one, we'll summon Shenron, we'll upgrade the training area, and we'll check on the other two stories. are more organized than I thought. Now, with any luck, we're going to get this without having to do any fight. Which we did. I 
balls. All the Dragon Balls. Three wishes. So we now get three wishes. Oh, and we got an achievement. Shenron's favorite. Summon Shenron ten times to make a wish. All right. Now we'll fast travel to Capsule Core, get the machine upgraded, assuming we have enough. We might not even have enough Zenny for it this time, but I at least want to try. where I was trying to go to. So, are you ready to begin your training? Okay, I have enough now. And you know something? We can do uh, this one too, so why don't we get that as well? Okay, we do not have enough for the next one though. Not right now anyway. Though we have everything else we need for it. So, no, that's not what I want. I want to do this. Alright, we'll go to Tommy's Lookout, see what the sub-story is here. And we'll go to Goku's house area, see what that sub-story is. And then we will wrap this up. We might actually get this in under, uh, under two hours. If we are over, it'll be just by a minute or two. Another reason I don't want to have it super long is because things like this take a lot of room on the uh, thing. Okay. Okay, so we need Gohan to, to talk to Dende. Probably more Dragon Ball improvements. Now let's see what Goku's house has for the next sub-story. Next time we do this, we'll also do some training with Vegeta. See if we can uh, unlock some more stuff. Because I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two uh, things we can try and do with him. So how much time is left? Okay. We're going to stop this recording. We're going to start up a final one that's going to be very short. Because this recording was about to end within like 30 seconds. So good thing I uh, double checked. Starting the final recording right now. 
Okay, final recording started. Well, both uh, things are here. All right, well, Krillin, you got to go. Actually, I want to check. Since we switched into Yamcha, we may as well do this with him real quick. So there is a club. So it's Ox King. Hmm. Okay, does that mean we need uh, Piccolo on our team or do we need to talk to him as Gohan? Uh, I don't know. Either way, that's where we're going to end this. I hope everyone did enjoy, uh, enjoy this. I'm actually just grabbing a, a red fruit. Superb apple. Okay, well... Whew, we got a lot done this time, though. Save this. Alright. That's going to do it for this episode, though, folks. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll be back with another one soon. This has been DMC Jedi Man Gaming, and I'm signing off. Peace, everybody.